Okay. So today I want to talk to everyone about uh, Ranchilio has done a upgrade on their group design and they are calling it the Steady Brew. So any, any of their new machines, class 5, class 7, class 9, class 11, that are a single heat exchanger system, not Excelsius, uh, will have this. Um, so all the new machines coming out of North America will have this system. How you'll know it'll have, it'll say SB right on the machine, Steady Brew. So what they have done is they have incorporated a third tube to the brewing group and that's coming directly off the top of the heat exchanger and they, are, they still have the same heat exchanger tubes that they've always had throughout the years uh, and what they have gained is a more consistent temperature especially in high volumes um, to keep the if the temp is at 200 degrees it's going to stay at 200 degrees no matter what you're doing with it uh, so whether it's slow or bus or extremely busy and you're just doing nothing back-to-back -back, uh, shots of your machine it will have a steady temperature to it the other nice feature that they have done is they've incorporated a smaller uh, flow restrictor it's uh, 0.6 millimeters to slow down the flow uh, you can still get the 0.8 millimeter flow restrictor uh, the top uh, tube that they've added has a flow restrictor that is two millimeters uh, that can be eliminated to raise your temp of the group or they also have a blank that you can insert in there to lower the temperature of the group. So ideally the temperature of the group is going to be as it is around 200 degrees and of course uh, your service technician can manipulate that a little bit with pressure, steam pressure adjusting that and of course uh, boiler fill. But that is their new design on the machine and of course in their testing they have just found that it has extremely stabilized temperature where it even outperforms like say a La Marzocco with a dual boiler system. So this particular unit is the class 5. Um, so this is the new tube that they have added that's coming off the top of your your heat exchanger and then going to the top of the brew group. So the brew group has been just redesigned as far as uh, being able to accept this tube and also uh, the way they have ported for the normal heat exchange system. So, all so your again, flow restrictors are in here. Okay, so um, again, uh, what can your tech do for you? So what your tech can do for you is uh, if for some reason we want to raise the temperature, then there we would, re, you know, take the tube out and there's a, just a copper flow restrictor, two millimeter restrictor just laying in there that you would take out. Wow, okay. You would just eliminate it. Okay. And then of course, if we wanted to lower the temperature, they have a part number for a it's basically there's no hole in it it's just a cap it's like you're capping this tube um so uh really quickly um w when you made the comment about um uh meeting the same level standard of um heat stability as the la Marzocco, that's a pretty um a pr pretty big claim because la Marzocco is so uh, has a reputation for heat stability um, is there anything else you can comment uh, about that? Well, the thing that we all struggle with is consistency. And so Ranchilio in their brew group design, along with other manufacturers, have designed their machines for consistency. We're, we're just taking it up an extra level now, you know. So now we're just making it even more consistent, you know, to where... When you say consistent, you mean stable? Fluctu yeah, fluctuation in temperature. There's no fluctuation in temperature. If you have a machine that is a, um, a, a, 
a multi-boiler system where you're using a PID or a PID, um, that doesn't mean you're going to have stability. It has well, in to, it theory, only, if you are using the machine correctly, you should have stability. But you are paying an extreme cost for that stability too. Um, you know, the additional feature that you have with a multi-boiler system is obviously you can adjust on the fly at the temperature. Okay. Some machines have multiple temps, uh, or each group can have its temperature adjusted. Um, but that might not be a f financially that, yeah, feasible yeah, for it some. It might not be financially feasible, you know, and this is where this is great is because they're achieving the stability of temperature. Yeah, we can't go into programming or anything like that and say, hey, I want it 199.5. Mm -hmm. But we're able to achieve a stable temperature and, of course, manipulate that. Uh, although little... that it's more um, a technician being able to do that. A mechanical change, changing, manipulation. Changing parts, mechanical manipulation with your actual pressure, uh, steam pressure, and, and of course, uh, uh, your boiler level. Okay, so um, on the, uh, th this is the Ranchelio class uh, five semi-automatic three group. Um, if you're looking at a, cla um, at a uh, Ranchelio machine and their heat exchanger uh, lines, a two group semi-automatic uh, is about uh, 5,500. And um, this new um, Steady Brew is in their seven and their nine. And the class nine um, is about 11,800. Uh, but with that, you're gonna get a digital display. Yeah, you're gonna get a digital display. Here again, you have more, even more consistency because it's using a pressure transducer, oh, which okay. means our reaction times of heating and not heating are it's very precise. It's instantaneous. So I know we're going off the subject of the class five is a mechanical. Yeah. Where the is the class five nine? Is a mechanical where in our steam pressure you have about a two point, a point two bar differential mm -hmm. uh, between off and on in heating. Uh, when you get into the class nine uh, USB, you're it's instantaneous and it's like a PID system because it's constantly. Reacting. Keep it reacting and keeping that pressure as consistent as possible. Which um, makes everything else more consistent, especially in your room. Uh, the point is Ranchelio has made a machine or made uh, equipment models for everyone from... Yes from someone that's really looking for a foundational uh, starter machine to someone that is high volume um, and is looking for um, uh, features that will um, support the barista simplifying the brewing process. Yes. So well done, Ranchelio, I guess we would have to say. Um, and if you have any more qu questions, you can call Ranchelio Group North America, right? And talk to Don Burquist. Yes. Um, he's a great, um, very knowledgeable salesperson. I don't have his phone number, but you can find his phone number on EspressoServiceDirectory.com. And uh, you can call him direct. The best source for everything Espresso. Uh, thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.